in the beginning of rock and roll and a lot of people that were gravitating towards Chuck Berry. This song, Brown Eyed Handsome Man, was one of the ones that kind of stopped me in my tracks. And there is a particular guitar sound on these early Chuck Berry records. And on this, I thought, what, what is that? You know, how do you do that? Now, Gibson just made me a Chuck Berry Gibson 350, and I got it, and my son, Sebastian, presented it to me on Father's Day, Wow! and I plugged it in, and it sounds like that. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about that instrument, but that's the one. I remember at the time, well, there's a couple of things with this. When, when Bob recorded this song, I accidentally went with John Hammond, John Hammond Jr., to the studio. I write about this in Testimony, right? <clears throat> he says, oh, God, I forgot. Can we stop in? I promised my friend I would stop in. He's recording. And I was like, okay, whatever. We went in. And they were recording this song, and I, and I did think, whoa, this guy's pulling a rabbit out of the hat. I haven't heard anything like this before. When I started playing with Bob, and we were on a, a long tour, a long, long tour, and by the time, by the time we got to England. I didn't know how this much power in his vocals could come out of this frail man. He was so thin. It was it was like where does that come from? You know, and he was singing louder and stronger than James Brown. <laughs> and I was just in I was just so impressed with how much he gave. Making this record is one of the most interesting musical uh, endeavors I've ever had. And that's, to me, so gratifying at this stage, you know, because, you know, you think, well, you could use up most of your tricks by now. <laughs> Or, you know, a lot of people in my generation, they don't, they can't really, some of them don't write anymore, some of them can't write anymore, and some of them do write, but doesn't matter. On this record, God, I was, I was allowed, because of what was going around in the universe, in my universe to me, that I was working on the Irishman, that was influencing what I was doing. This documentary's going on, and I, because the documentary, I wrote this song. They're like, oh my God, we want to call the documentary this. This is like the soul of the emotion that we're trying to get out of this thing. I'm thinking, wow, that's great. And I'm putting together the 50th anniversary of the band collection. And I want to reflect on this brotherhood and everything. And so it makes me write things. And then working with Scorsese and all of this stuff and the kind of stories that I'm interested in telling on this record and everything, it just took me into, in a, in, into a dimension that in record making and in songwriting, I've never been there before.